Hey there, got a sec? Sure. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? She keeps sending us Fremtech. No strings attached. It's hard to believe she's turned over a leaf. When we were close, there were periods when she was sugar sweet. They never lasted. So I'm not counting any chickens. I'm just mixing metaphors. Tell me more about the two of you. After she woke me from stasis, I was living off grid, right? She set me up, got me ID cards, access to resources. I thought we were a team. She was the society lady, proper, established, powerful, living vicariously through me. She introduced me to her circle, showed me off, called me her little rogue. I felt special. Were you too intimate? Take a wild guess. Why are people so hung up on sex? It's a natural expression of attraction. We were doing exciting, daring, irreverent things. It stirs stuff up. Like shaking a bottle of champagne, you know? You should know. Better than anyone. I'm not the type to save myself. What happened to end the relationship? <laughs> Which time? She'd thrown me aside so many times I felt like a yo-yo. Each more cruel than the last. She'd come back with sweet talk, apologize profusely, tell me her feelings were so intense she got scared, yada yada. Until she disappeared, right around when I found my first remnant ruin. So I threw myself into that. Did you know she was working with the Exiles? Had no idea. Blows my mind she was leading a double life. Nexus aristocrat by day, thrill-seeking outlaw boss by night. I realize now how little I knew about her. Makes me question everything. Let's talk about something else. Yes, please. How are you getting along with the team? I'm keeping it light and pleasant. Even Lexi isn't exactly what I'd expected. And Jal... I'm learning what makes him tick. We're lucky to have an Angara with us. Asari can mate with all Milky Way species, I find myself wondering if that transcends galactic boundaries. I'm certainly not looking to reproduce anytime soon, but he seems like a good guy. What do you think? You should trust your instincts. Thanks, Ryder. How's your current project looking? We didn't get the device, but the scan data could help us use Remtech to augment more of our systems. Who knows? Maybe someday we'll have remnant-infused ships or even learn how to travel space in new ways. For the foreseeable future, though, I'll just be in research and study mode. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.
Pathfinder. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Cat. Shoot stuff and don't die. Always works for me. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Cash is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. We can talk more later. Sure.
works in Cephesa as outpost colonists, out engineer, and Angaran outlaw. And is The Nexus has really come a long way, hasn't it? It's sad not all of us got to see it finally getting somewhere. Should I apply for an outpost? Hey, Ryder. Report any suspicious activity to the nearest security representative. I could do more good out there than I can stuck here. Name? Seen the address. Hi. As in barrel address? Maybe you've seen her? Welcome if I can just have your medical scan. Here. We ask that you send or my sister Farima. Please, we were separated in the evacuation. We'll have you on your way. We appreciate your patience. Pathfinder, this is Nexus Control. I've decrypted the scrambler you found, sending you the information now. Good job. Pathfinder out. Please. Sam? Received, Pathfinder. The scrambler contains all the evidence necessary to incriminate Spender. I can't believe you said that. What? I was just being honest. In order to expedite your entry, you must already... This place is great. I'm learning a great deal. Have a look around. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people who have arrived from the Milky Way galaxy. First, I worried I couldn't live here. Now I worry I'll have to go home. I'm learning so much. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. You'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Occupational hazard. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. Alain, what are you doing here? Supervised work release as a programmer, making up for what my mother did, trying to stop AI. I swear she said she'd only disable the blue box computers in storage. No one was meant to get hurt. Has Knight been sentenced? Not yet. 
I spoke up for her, but I don't think anyone else will. Maybe being a good citizen will help her. We'll keep an eye on that, Viner. It'll be fine. Nice work out there. The Geophysics VI is well ahead of the curve. As promised, one consultant's bonus, plus expenses. Enjoy. Power outages just make no sense. Pathfinder, have you seen this place? So green. Dr. Camden's been a real help. I take it you know Vaughn. He seems to have settled in. Hey, Vaughn. Glad to see you in your element, instead of locked in a box. <sighs> You're gonna tell everyone about that, aren't you? With the supplies here, I can start really fixing things. All those disease-resistant seeds, I... Wait. You have what? Where? Excuse us, Pathfinder. But the plants on Tachanka are carnivorous. Most humans would get eaten alive. Oh, I was. More than once. Thank you for your contribution. Pathfinder. Junker, back in the fold. Let's hear it. Hello. The things are tense around the pub. But not like that first 14 months, thanks to us. I think they raised the drink prices, though. Bastards. One villain at a time, Liam. Priorities, Pathfinder. Hello. Drinks are fizzing tonight. Pathfinder? Hi. 
Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the Scourge. An official tribute is planned, though Director Jaron Tan has provided few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be Lighter. here. But now Another of your father's here, memories has just unlocked. Speaking with Sarah seemed to have triggered it. This it's the it final can. entry, and you can now view it in Sam Node. Ryder. Another of your father's memories has just unlocked. Speaking with Sarah seemed to have triggered it. It's the final entry. Showdown on Kadara, rivals vie for power on the Exile Port. After a bitter fight with their rival outcasts, the Collective has now claimed control of Kadara. Outcast leader Sloan Kelly was killed by sniper fire when the Collective seized power. Following the victory, Collective spokesperson Kima Dorgan vowed to loosen restrictions that many fear will make Kadara more dangerous. Kadara is important for the people. We survived the cat, endured the outcasts, and now we have a home for the most ambitious among us. You're this listening to HNS, your source for news. PB, where are you? Hey, Vetra. I'm someplace interesting. Wanna meet up? Maybe at the Nexus Lounge? Appreciate the invite. Rain check, okay? Sure thing. Still not spending time in the Nexus, huh? No, I made the rounds. Tons more people milling about. My old apartment's been appropriated. Guess they need the space. You seem sad about that. Not sad, exactly. Guess I just realized how nice it was to have a quiet place where I could disappear. Now, everywhere you go, boom, people. Just minding my own business. Pathfinder? Have to go now. See you later. Talk to you later. Pathfinder. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Thanks for the talk. Sure thing. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? 
They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. They will keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Hey, Sam. Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories! There's still hope for your mother. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam? This is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder. To see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Now we know what G.N. Garson meant. That something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jin Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good. But I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs, with pertinent information, are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Got it. I need to go find Mom. 